take your felt by the yard and we're just gonna cut a strip. And this strip is about 13 inches by two inches. So the longer the strip, the bigger the flower. This one is gonna be kind of big, but you can make them a lot smaller just by shortening the length. And then this width, this width you can make, if you want a bigger flower, you just make a little bit bigger or a smaller flower, you make it smaller. So just play around with it and then see, you can see what, what uh, measurements you'd like your flower to be. So once you've cut your strip, we're going to take our hot glue gun and then just go along the, the, the bottom. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So fold it down so it meets the edges together. So now get your scissors out and we're going to cut little tiny strips into the felt. Now you can cut as far down as you'd like, just don't cut it off. I like to cut it pretty far down so that the base of the flower isn't as thick. Sometimes if you cut it kind of shorter, then it will there'll be more like a, a thicker base when the flower comes up. So keep that in mind as you're experimenting with what you'd like to do. I'm cutting this to, it's a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, but about, about a quarter of an inch. And you just go ahead and cut the same all the way down. You could probably do different, different uh, sizes of the strips if you wanna experiment and do that. That might be kinda cute too. But just go ahead and cut these strips all the way down the length of your felt. Once you're finished cutting your little loops, we're going to put it together. So take your hot glue gun and then just put a dab of glue at the beginning. And then we're just gonna roll back together. And then we're just gonna place some more hot glue and continue rolling the bottom of these loops. And then you may wanna stop and let it cool a little bit before you move on so it doesn't fall apart. And another thing that you can do is you can take your strips and have them be like bigger on one side and then just get a little bit smaller on the other side and then that would make your your loops look a little bit differently so the middle ones would be uh, down a little bit and then the outer ones would be a little bit longer so that's something else that you can play with with these flowers okay we're just adding some more hot glue and continuing our rolling We're getting to the end and you just place hot glue along the rest of it and just place it like so. So now we're going to let that cool and once it's cooled then you can kind of fluff down your loops. Make sure the ones in the middle are, are sticking up. Anyway, that finishes how to make these felt loop flowers, and I'll show you some other fun things you could do with them as well. So here I've done a smaller one. This one is smaller, and also I, the strips of the loops I cut were smaller as well. Like these are like about an eighth of an inch. So with this one, I've done two different colors. I don't know if you can tell 
This one's a darker purple and this one's a lighter purple. So I've done two different colors and I'm going to layer them to make it multicolored. And so once you've done, once you're done cutting the loops, we're just gonna glue these together. So you take hot glue and you put it on one color and glue the other color on. Okay, and then you let that cool and then you just do the same thing with rolling it as we did with the pink one. So as you can see, it's flatter. I'm gonna show you. It's flatter and there's more of those loops because I doubled it up with the two different colors and I made them smaller. And so, as you can see, it makes quite a bit of different look. So that just gives you an idea of other ways you can use this technique. So here we have three different colors and three different sizes. And I'm just gonna make a flower cluster. And to show you how to do that, I'm just going to place hot glue on the bottom of my flower. And I've cut out this piece of felt. I'm just gonna place it down and then take my second biggest flower. Do the same thing by putting hot glue on the back. And then putting it right next to this flower. And taking our last piece, and you can do as many flowers as you want in a flower cluster. Generally you do two or three. And then place it right in there. And then let's set that aside to dry for right now. So starting with our first flower, I'm gonna show you how to add this to a clip. So I've cut out just a very small felt circle and then putting my clip onto the felt circle. And then taking the bottom of my flower, I'm just gonna add hot glue. And then taking the clip, we're gonna put it on the felt circle or the flower. And there we have a clip attached to this flower so we can just easily put it on. So now back to our flower cluster. After we've glued it on, we're just gonna take our scissors and cut out the extra, that extra felt. So go ahead and cut that off. So take your felt cluster, your felt flower cluster, and we're going to put this one on a, head, a headband. So I've got my headband ready right here. So I'm just going to put a line of glue on the back of this cluster, and then take our elastic and place that down. And of course, do that with the, with the seam of the elastic. And now, taking another felt piece, we're just gonna sandwich that elastic in. So just put your, put some hot glue on that felt piece. And then place it on top of that elastic. You can cut off any excess. And that finishes our felt cluster, our felt flower cluster.